So I got a neat little toy the other day. It's a uh, 8x8 RGB LED matrix. So I have 64 LEDs in here. Each LED has um, actually three LEDs inside of it. That's how the RGB LEDs work. There's a red, green, and blue. You can almost see that. Oh, you can't really focus here, but you can actually see if you look up close, um, especially when it's lit, you can actually see the individual RGB elements. Uh, so this has 32 pins on the back, and this is a uh, common anode configuration, which means that all the um, for each row, all the positive terminals of the LEDs are connected, and um, the negative terminals will be controlled by separate voltages for R, G, and B. So I went online, I found a data sheet. As you can see here, it's really pretty simple. Um, it's actually not as bad as it seems. If, if you look over here, you have each row controlled by, um, see this goes right across to the common anodes of each LED. So row one is controlled by pin 17 and two, 18, 19, 20, and 29, 330, two. And then each LED itself, the cathode is connected to um, column common pins. So column one, nine would control the, uh, you can see the legend here, nine would control the red LED, 28 would control the green, and pin one would control the blue. So knowing that, I should be able to uh, actually get some things lit up here. So I find pin one is here. So I'll make the common pin 17. And we'll hook that up to some positive voltage here. Red is pin nine. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pin nine. I think that's right. Green is pin 28, so that'll be somewhere around here. And blue is pin 1. All right, so we have uh, all our pins hooked up here. Now the next thing we need to know is um, what kind of voltage we should be feeding these. If you look here, the uh, green and the blue pins actually have a common forward, a typical forward voltage is 3.4 volts, minimum three, and the red is actually quite a bit lower. That's for 20 milliamps. Um, I'm gonna be pretty conservative here. Um, so I, I'm running off three volts power supply. And I put a 220 ohm resistor for the green and blue, and I think a 470 for the, uh, the red, just to keep that down. I'm not trying to, you know, max this out, just trying to see which pin is which. So if I take this blue pin and I connect it to this resistor, we should get a, uh, a blue light here. And bingo, we do. So that's, uh, that would be row one, column one. If I connect the green to that same one, that should light up green. And it does. And then the red, I can connect to the other resistor and I can have red. Now I can combine these, I can have a red and green, which will make a yellowish sort of color. Uh, red and blue, kind of a purple. And if I do all three, it gives me, eh, it's kind of white. I mean, I, I can adjust these voltages to, uh, just the resistors to give a different kind of bright, but I think, you know, from a distance, especially if that was diffused a little bit, that would look kind of whitish. Um, so again, I can, um, knowing that this is the, eight, 17 is the common for row one, if I switch that to 18, that'll be row two, and 19, row three, and then I can jump down to, uh, you know, the lower rows up by here. Um, easier if I had two hands to work with but all right so now I, I can light up any particular LED in this matrix any uh, one of a few different colors that's a start and uh, we'll move on from there